I'm Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Welcome to Sewing Anastasia, and today we're going to shorten the sleeves on a sweater. If you're not already a subscriber to Sew Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. Also, right now I'm teaching virtual sewing classes so you can book your time online with me and I will help you with any project that you would like help with. Or if you're in Chicago, you can book a one-on-one -on -one or a socially distanced sewing class with me in my design studio. So I love this sweater. I love the pattern on it. I love the colors of it but it needs some major alterations. And the first thing I'm gonna do is shorten the sleeves on it. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to shorten the sleeves. I also have other tutorials on how to take in the sweater and how to crop it. So check out the other videos for those alterations, but this one's gonna be all about the sleeves. Links for those are gonna be down below. Supplies for this project are super simple. You're going to need some matching thread. You're also going to need your snips or some scissors, and you're going to need some pins. And lastly, you're going to need a sweater that is too long in the sleeves. The first thing you need to do is put on the sweater and we need to take a look at the sleeves and we need to see how long is it and how much do we want to take it up. So the way I like to do this is put it where you want the rib knit to lay on your arm and then all this extra, let's fold it and then pin it. So grab your pins and let's go ahead and pin the knit fabric. Don't pin your rib knit though. Okay, so we're gonna stick the pin in the knit and then back out on the other side. Okay, so now we know how much we need to take in. But remember, you have a front and a back to how much we take it in. So whatever the measurement is from the pin to the edge, it's times two. So grab your tape measure and we wanna measure from the pin to the edge of our fabric. Mine says an inch, so that means we're gonna take it in two inches because the fabric is overlapped. This will also give you the measurement for your other sleeve because we wanna take in both sleeves the same amount. Now we're gonna unpin it, and we're gonna fold the rib knit back onto the sleeve and measure that one inch and repin, and then we can sew it up. So we're gonna take the pin out, and we're gonna take our rib knit, and we're gonna flip it back to the right side. So that way, we see the wrong side of the fabric here. And now what we wanna do is go ahead and measure one inch from the rib knit to the edge of the fabric and go ahead and pin it. And just work your way all the way around the sleeve and keep measuring so that way it ends up even when we're sewing. It can be a little bit bulky by the seam, so just work it with your fingers. Okay, so now we have it all pinned and we measured an inch from the edge of the rib knit to the edge of the fabric. And now what we're gonna do is go to the sewing machine and we're gonna sew right where the rib knit is. Today I'm gonna be using the Husqvarna Viking Epic 95Q. You can use any sewing machine that has an overcast stitch on it. With that said, make sure you go ahead and set up the overcast stitch on your machine. If you're using a Viking machine, make sure you put on your J foot. This is gonna make sure that your overcast stitches don't bunch up. My overcast foot looks like this, and it has a little bar on the back, and it's gonna make sure that that horizontal stitch that's happening doesn't bunch up. So make sure you put on your overcast foot for your machine. So also you're gonna wanna take off the bed of your machine so that way we can fit the sweater onto the cylinder part of the machine. If your sleeve won't fit on the cylinder of your machine, no worries, we can sew it in a circle still, just working it on the top bed of the machine. It's a little bit trickier, and that's the way I'm gonna do it so I can show you how. So let's make sure the straight line on your overcast stitch is gonna be right at the edge of the rib knit. Also make sure you back stitch. Now, since the sweater is bunching up and we're losing some space to sew on, just go ahead and maneuver your, your sleeve so that way you have some more fabric to sew on. You're basically turning it in a circle as you go. Every time you stop to rotate, make sure you leave your needle in the fabric so it doesn't move on you and you don't have skipped stitches. Now 
When you get to the end, make sure you back stitch and cut. Okay, so we have it sewn all the way around. So if you flip it back, you can see how we have our new stitching line here. But it's a little bulky. So we wanna go ahead and cut off all the extra outside of the edge of the overcast stitch. Just be careful you don't cut into your overcast stitch because if you do, it's all gonna fall apart and that would suck. So I know it's hard to see, but the overcast stitch starts at the edge of the rib knit and it comes all the way over to here. So when we cut, we wanna start right here. So cut into it and go ahead and cut right next to your overcast stitch. There we go. And because the overcast stitch finishes the edge at the same time, you don't have to worry about it unraveling. You might have a few threads on the edge, but that's not a big deal. So flip it back and we're done, we did it. Go ahead and do the exact same thing to the other side and then you're all done. We did it, we finished shortening the sleeves. So they are no longer hanging way down on my fingers. They are at a great length. Now what's left to do is take in the rest of the sweater and I've got some videos on that already. So make sure you check out the links down below on how to take in the sweater and how to crop the sweater as well. So now you can go ahead, head to your closet and figure out what sweaters are way too long on you and go ahead and shorten them. It's so easy. Thanks so much for watching Sewing Anastasia today. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Give us some applause. And if you're not already a subscriber to Sew Anastasia, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, make sure you follow me on Instagram and on Facebook and on Twitter and all those other social media sites. Also, I would love to see your creative projects. So make sure you tag me at Sewing Anastasia or DM me pictures of your project so that I can share the creativity with everybody else. Let's keep inspiring each other. Also, I'm now teaching virtual sewing classes so you can sign up on my website, pick any project you want, and I will help you from my design studio to your sewing room. And if you're in Chicago, you can come in and take a private one-on-one -on -one class or join a socially distant open studio class as well. And if you wanna help grow Sew Anastasia, hop on over to Patreon and check out all the ways that you can do that. Thanks so much for watching, bye!